Hey guys, this is Eric back at you with another Houdini tutorial and this time I'm going to introduce you to a little bit of particles and dynamics to get you started in that regard. So, uh, let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is add a sphere. And this will throw a sphere right into the center of my grid. Now what I want to do is I want to go up to my second menu inputs here and go over to rigid bodies. And I'm looking for this little object here called rigid rigid body object okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and then a little blue bar will come up and it's going to ask me to select what body I want to turn into a rigid body object so I'll select my sphere and hit enter and that turns it into a rigid body and you can tell that because when you push play it falls off the screen and if it's fall off the screen really fast you need to turn on your real time right here this little button right here is your real time and it will once it caches it through once it'll play it back in real time like 25 frames a second okay now that we have our rigid body attached you can see it's through up an auto dot network uh, node down here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that new node and I'm going to add a rigid body pin I'm going to I want to add see this right here I'm going to hit enter I mean I'm going to select it now it wants me to select the object, the rigid body object I want to pin, and I'm going to select my sphere and hit return. Now this little crosshair will come up, and now I want to reference the center. I don't want to put it way over here or way over here, so I'm just going to hit return again, and that will um, put this little crosshair into the middle of my globe, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it up. You notice when I do that, it doesn't affect my sphere I'm just affecting the point that I pinned okay so now I'm gonna go back over here to my view here I'm gonna hit the L key to lay this out now you can see what we have here on our node view we have our two merges we have our sphere we have our solver we have our gravity which is making it fall and we have our constraint node so let's go hit our object button and go back out to object level I'm gonna select my sphere and I wanna move my sphere over a little bit like this now when I play it you can see we've put this little pin here and it's swinging back and forth on a pendulum So let's just stop this, go back to the beginning. Now I'm going to go back up to rigid bodies and I'm going to create a ground plane. Well before we even create a ground plane, let's create some particles. So let's go to our little create particles button and there is a source from right here. This is going to tell it this is where I want the particles, this is where I want the particle source to be. So I'm going to select this and it's going to tell me to select. the geometry that I want to use as the, as the source of the geometry but I think it's already got that selected for me and it does so now you can see we are um, emitting some particles from our little pendulum here that we've created now uh, if it doesn't automatically do it for you like I wasn't expecting it to I was expecting it to have to manually select the sphere and then hit return but obviously it's smart enough to uh, know where you was wanting to attach the particles to so now let's zoom around here and push play you can see we have this little dynamic scene here, some particles emitting. Let's go back up to object level. So now we don't want our particles just flying out like that. Let's, we want them going straight down. So uh, let's go up to our drive particles menu and hit gravity. Now it's going to ask me to select the particles that I want the gravity to affect. So I'm going to go in here and click the particles like that and hit return. Now as you can see that applied gravity and now they're shooting out from the bottom okay let's go back up to object level here go back to the beginning now let's add a ground plane so go to rigid bodies ground plane and I'll throw in a ground plane and let's move our ground plane down like so and let's play it back here we need to move our ground plane down a little bit more Now we have this little 
scene here, this little pendulum swinging back and forth, but the notice the particles are going through our ground plane and we don't want that we don't want that. So we're going to have to uh, I call it a behavior because I'm used to working with motion, you know. So uh, we need to add a collision to these particles. So I'm going to go up to the drive particles menu and I want to select collision. Now it's going to ask me to select the particles first. So I'll select the particles, hit return. Now it's going to ask me what I want it to collide with, and I want to select the uh, ground plane and hit return. Now when I push play, those particles are bouncing off that. We don't want it to do that. We need it to uh, maybe slide off. So I'm going to go over here to behavior. Under behavior, I'm going to select slide on collision. So now, when I push play, our particles come out and they slide off. And you see they go off the edges here. Not bad, huh? Okay, now that we've got this little particle, this little dynamic scene, let's make it a little more complicated. Let's stop things. And um, let's add another sphere by control clicking on sphere. And I'm going to bring it up here above my original pin spot like that. I want to change it to polygon. And I want to change the frequency to 1 just to make it a little less complicated. Then I'm going to add a box by control clicking on box and I'm going to leave it right where it is. Okay, so I'm going to select my sphere again and I'm going to go back up to rigid bodies and I'm going to select rigid body points. Hit enter, I mean hit select it. Then it's going to ask you for what object you want the instance. Select the box you just added and hit return. Let me play through here and let it cache it once. Now as you can see we have these boxes that were instanced from before and when I play it you can see everything interferes and is dynamically um, interact interacting with one another. So it cache through once. And you can go on and on with this as you can see, let's go back up to object level here. Okay, zoom out. We don't particularly need all 240 frames of this, so let's make this 100 frames long. We'll click on this little button right here. We'll go up here and make our end 100. Hit enter and apply. It'll ask you if you want to change things. Say yes. And close. Now we have a little 100 frame animation here. And if you ask me, this is a pretty good little introduction to dynamics and particles within Houdini. I hope you guys have got a good idea of what's going on. Now you can go on and on with this. You can add gravity to these boxes if you want them to fall off the edge of the uh, um, the plane here, the, the ground plane, you can have them fall off as they roll off. There's so much stuff you can do from up here, but I hope this has given you an idea of how to get started with particles and stuff. And don't worry, we're going to work our way into liquid, into fire and smoke, cloth, wires, fur. I'm going to try to cover all this and give you a real world example like I have done here in simplified terms so maybe you all can follow along. So. Uh, this was covered on the uh, Houdini website, but it was just kind of hard to follow. So I'm maybe I've put it into simpler terms for you guys. So uh, if you have any questions, get a hold of me. I'll answer them if I can. So I hope you've learned something, and we'll see you next time.